Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Chris Amilo. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Life in Dubai United Arab Emirates. Uh, yeah, before we go into the topic, I want to especially thank everybody that has been subscribing to my channel. I don't even know. I've received a lot of calls from different nationality, Indian, Philippines, asking me regarding the absconding case and like that. So I can't really tell that my, my, my videos have really gone far to other nationalities. So I want to really appreciate everybody that have subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you're watching me right now, I'm telling you a very big thank you. And also, don't forget to invite your friend if they need uh, that such an information, then can come to my channel. And of course, you have my number. You can call me if you have any tangible uh, uh, inquiries to make. And also, I want to thank my personal person in the place of Anes. Anes, thank you so much for checking up on me. I haven't posted for a while now, and uh, though I received messages of people asking me regarding flights. You know, I haven't really talked about anything that has happened this week. So I'm going to make a very, uh, I'm going to make a random topic in this video. I'm going to address a lot of things that has happened this week. But thank you, Anes, for checking up on me. She actually tested me and she said, I, I'm doing this video now after reading the message from Anes. So she said, she was like, good morning, Chris. I haven't, uh, no video, uh, I hope you're okay today. There's no video. I uh, hope you are good. Yes, I'm good. I'm fine. I'm doing well. Bouncing like a bouncing baby boy. But uh, sometimes in UAE, you have to just... Uh, there's some certain things that come with stress that you just need to tidy up. So, uh, there's a lot of things I'm, I'm doing and working on. So, uh, there is no really good time to make a video. But because of the message, I want to make this video. Okay, guys. <clears throat> Let's go back to the main reason why we are here. You know, let's talk about uh, from flights, uh, visa. You know, a lot of things has happened this week. Uh, Nigeria government, Emirates airline, LPs, you know. So many things has happened this week. I'm not here to give you news because I believe that you're already aware of the news. Do you understand? You're already aware of the news. So now, let's discuss, let's have one-on-one -on -one conversation of the recent happening regarding Nigeria flights from UAE to Nigeria and other things. Do you understand? And also, we are going to make a, a live video regarding this topic because I really want to hear people's opinion. Like, I'm going to open my phone, my mobile, and I'm going, I'm going to make... Let's 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 have a conversation on phone. So, I will be opening my phone line on my live session, which will be discussing about all these things. So, now, let me go back to when all these things started. You know, when all these things started, I said it is COVID nineteen issue. You no, know, but gradually we realized that it is not COVID nineteen. After COVID nineteen, they made us believe that is because of what we Nigerians are doing in the United Arab Emirates that caused the problem, you know, which are uh, which warrant many people talking so many trash about Nigerians on social media, you know, different nationalities like Cameroonians and uh, Ghanaians, you know. <clears throat> Apart from that, after the medals believe that it is because of what actually happened, what uh, what we are doing in this country that caused the issue now but right now we are beginning to realize that it is between the nigeria government emirate airline and airpiece do you understand now according to them from the recent happening alleged do you understand alleged because i don't i don't really confirm i don't really say something with confidence of what i have no confirmation about now in alleged uh, news that has been happening recently this week uh which uh the the voice note of that was trending uh on, on social media uh, when uh, the minister of aviation in nigeria was addressing uh why the limited the emirate airline uh from uh, 21 uh, from 21 uh, flights per week to one flight 
I think one ply per week, which is they made the restriction, you know. Noting that is because uh, UAE is supposed to give to Nigeria a also 21, do you understand? 21 frequencies to flight every week. Do you understand? That the UAE is supposed to give to Nigeria in return. But unfortunately, Nigeria does not have official airline. But we have Airpis. Do you understand? We have Airpis. Airpis is a private sector. But for now, Airpis is representing us in a big level. Like, Airpis is taking Nigeria Aviation International. Do you understand? So I believe that was the reason why the Ministry of Aviation or the Minister of Aviation decided to to make sure that at least Airpis have at least three slots to fly it from Charger. Do you understand? But unfortunately, the the UAE or the Charger government or the Charger Aviation authorities uh, only give to Airpis one slot per week. Do you understand? Which brought the mis uh, misunderstanding between the the two aviation authorities. Do you understand? So, now, in all these things, there have been a lot of talks here and there. Do you understand? A lot of talks here and there. Uh, some people are saying that uh, that we are suffering, we Nigerians are suffering here and uh, at least the Minister of Aviation or the Aviation Authority is supposed to consider that for the fact that Nigerians are suffering. Do you understand? They have to consider that Nigerians are suffering in UAE and at least let the flights commence first before they will start negotiating on APIs. And other people said that it is good that the Nigeria government decided to limit the Emirates airline because we also need Airpis. Do you understand? Airpis is the only airline that represents Nigeria internationally, as Nigeria don't have their official airline yet. Which one they are, they are, they are saying 20, before they said 2021, now they say 2022. After they will still say 2023. But at least we have Airpis, you know, that is ready to represent us internationally so some people say that it is good because nigeria aviation authority has to fight for what belongs to them and what they believe belongs to them is air peace do you understand so why a lot of people are saying that it shouldn't be like that do you understand a lot of people are saying that now i realize that we nigerians we are more emotional we we speak on emotional you know but what is happening is beyond emotional do you understand what is happening beyond emotional i did not even say a word regarding this issue because everybody has their own opinion everyone has their own opinion and i would like you to drop your own opinion in the comment section do you think that it is right for the Nigeria Aviation Authority to fight and get something uh, for Airpeace which represent Nigeria overseas. Or do you think Nigeria Aviation Authority should have considered the fact that Nigeria in UAE has already big issue at hand from uh, tourist visa, uh, work permits, then flights. You know, we have already a lot of things that is going on here. You know, and at least if the flight can resume properly, they will be thinking of how the 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 air restriction on tourist visa can be resolved. Then after then, uh, we'll be getting maybe a good solution on the work permit. Even now, nobody is even is, is even discussing about the work permit anymore because everybody is tired of it. Everybody is just waiting. Let the will of God be done. Do you understand? So my question to you is that do you think which who do you think what do you think should have happened should should the Nigerian authorities the aviation authority should have let the Emirate airline operate their 21 frequency slot uh, from Lagos and Abuja to UAE uh, or are there are there uh, is it right for them to limit them 
and uh, give them only one slot just like as they give to the you the 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 epis now after then something again happened you know alleged i call it alleged because i haven't seen it in any official social media handle you know i i when i saw the news i tried to check different social media handle of the authority of the two authorities but i couldn't find anyone so i normally state it alleged do you understand so now in alleged recent news again it was stated that the 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 the, the united arab emirates stopped all flights uh, stop all nigeria passport holders from entering uae all nigerian passport holders were stopped and i i i i was told that some emirate uh, some ethiopia airline was offloaded the same day because they cannot uh, enter the united arab emirate as a nigeria passport holder as a result of uh, the decision from the nigeria aviation authority so now it's between the, the the i cannot call it the fight the issue is between the nigeria aviation authority the uae aviation authority and uh, peace, uh, peace, uh, peace, uh, airline, peace airline and Emirate airline. These are the four people that is on this table. I understand. So tell me what you think at the comment section. Now I'm going to talk about this. Let's let me give my own opinion. Now, if we really check it, do you understand? now we nigerians we are easily carried away emotional we talk with emotions do you understand like normally how people normally react when they see somebody got a job and pay agent fee they are saying this they, they will say something like this uh, you cannot help your brother is your brother blah 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 you do not collect money from your brother before you give the person work then have you considered the person that got this job, do you have you ever considered how he managed to secure that job that he's giving out and take money from? You know, a lot of times we only think about we we have this selfish emotional mindset that we all think that it is, you you should just do it do it like that so that everybody will call you a good person you know we have this this way of this emotional blackmailing that when people see that you are not following this particular step they will they will they will say that you're actually a bad person that is just it we have this emotional problem that when we want to address something we address from the selfish side of emotion because in fact now emotional has been divided into several parts the selfish part is what many nigerians are using in addressing some issues do you understand now we nigerians is passing through a lot in this country yes clearly we are passing through so much things in this so much stress from uh tourist visa work permit flight and the rest now we as a nigerian we are we are a nation do you understand? We are a nation. We are a country. Do you understand? A child of Africa, to be precise. Do you understand? Now, whether you like it or not, I know most of you, most of you will be, you know, understand. But I'm just going to, let's just say it as it is. Now, a Nigerian own a line owned airline because as as long as i am concerned right now airpiece is a nigerian old airline do you understand giving one slot okay giving one slot to a country but in other country i believe that it's supposed to be the same slot the two countries like if the emirate island is flying 20 is has gotten to the two slot from lagos to nigeria from lagos to uae 
I guess the Nigeria Airlines should have gotten 22 slot. Like, it's going to be trade by butter. Do you understand? But, unfortunately, Nigeria don't have airline. Do you understand? Airpiece is a private sector. Do you understand? Airpiece is a private sector, but represent Nigeria in an international aviation standard. Hope you understand it. So now, I am not here to tell you that Emirates Airline uh, did good or uh, Nigeria Aviation Authority did good. I'm here for us to discuss about it. So the comments session is open for you to tell me why and how do you think this matter should be resolved. Because right now, there is also a speculation news that the Emirates Aviation Authority has given to Epis seven slots to fly in and out of Nigeria weekly. In and out of uh, uh, Emirates weekly, which has no confirmation yet. Do you understand? Have no confirmation yet, but maybe it's true. Do you understand? But in all these things, we haven't heard anything till today, any any tangible thing till today. So, but one thing I'm assuring everybody that is watching me is that everything that has beginning has end. Do you understand? Now, all you need to do is to keep your mouth shut. Because what you might say, listen, social media is a very strong tool that can destroy or make. Do you understand? If you know that you want to talk from your emotion, you better don't talk. Because right now, this particular time is a time that you talk with diplomatism. Yeah, you use diplomatic way to speak. Because there's some certain things you will speak that might, that might, I'm said might, do you understand? Go the wrong way. So let's mind the way we talk online, including me myself. I don't even know whether I don't talk, I don't talk like this. I don't, I don't cross my line. But still, I know that everybody has their right to their opinion. And I just, just have right to your opinion, but have limit to what you're saying. So that's just it. And also to our Nigeria government. I know so I know they watch this video because I never blow. You understand? I've not gone to that level. But let's talk about the work permit issue. Let's go straight to Nigerian embassy and the diplomatic people there. Why is it that nobody is talking about our work permit? The only thing why they see a grammar, they fly around social media. Bro, bro, my I know like grammar. I I know they like grammar. What have the Nigerian embassy, the the consulate, the Nigeria consulate in Dubai? What are they doing regarding the work permit issue for Nigerians? Tell us plainly if it has anything to do with the flights, with the aviation. Let us know and let's wait, let's pray so that the flight will resume and followed by this because we are confused. We, the Nigerians in United Arab Emirates, we are all confused because we don't even know what is happening. You know, sometimes Nigeria government don't really know what we are passing through. In fact, even this uh, Nigerians in, in diaspora bus. Uh, what is her name? Abike. She don't know what we are passing through here. They don't know. They don't have a idea. They feel like it's just normal. What is the they see on social media? But there's more to this. There's more. There's more because a lot of things people are passing through so much on uh, because of this issue. Do you understand? So meanwhile, if you are if you are willing to apply a a, a partnership visa from Nigeria, it's open. You can actually apply a three years partnership visa from Nigeria to UAE. For more information, kindly send me a private message. If you are interested, do not send me a message if you are not interested. If you are interested, send me a message. If you want to know about the partnership visa, the link is in my 
uh, description box go to their video and watch and got every information regarding the visa before coming to tell me uh, the only thing that you come for in my inbox is business simple every information regarding the three years partnership visa is in that video in my description box so just go there watch the video after watching the video the only thing i did not say in that video is that you can actually get a direct partnership visa from home to uae that one is not in this video but i've already said it here so now you know so ladies and gentlemen my name is chris samilo and here we'll bring you everything that has to do with Dubai United Arab Emirates with the jobs and employment. If you haven't watched most of my video, we have talked about a lot of things, a lot of educating things, things regarding uh, UAE companies operating or something like that. In my next video, I'll be talking about the company holding your passport. I haven't released this video because uh, a lot of things are still going on and I just uh, does that type of videos are uh, when we have settled down you know whether company will hold your passport or not we are going to discuss about that i think that will be in the future when all this is have settled or basically maybe in my next video god can push me to do that that video so till then my name is christian milo please if you are watching me for the first time kindly subscribe to this channel here we talked about only what happened in dubai united arab emirates and uh how to live and survive in the united arab emirates my name is chris samilo and this program is tagged life in dubai so thank you guys and god bless peace off Oh, 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 oh,